Uh, it's a brand new website, so it makes sense, but I've literally maxed out this. It says I can repeat the search and see more than 110 results, but I've gone to page 11 for lawn care service, Fort Smith, Arkansas, and he wasn't in any of them. And then I, I did the same thing. I got the same message on the original search where his business is actually located, and I went to page 14, and I just got tired of going through pages. So he's not ranking at all. So that this is like a very clear indication that all these things that I'm mentioning need to be addressed really bad. We are about to analyze this lawn care businesses brand new website. What is going on? My name is Ryan Shimana and I am the founder of Optimized and we have been asked to take a look at Riverview Turfworks website here and I'm happy to do this. So I'm gonna run through everything I see very quickly on this website and hopefully give him some insight. And of course, we would be happy to handle this for him if he would like to go that route, but that is totally up to him. Um, hopefully he finds some value in this. And if you have a WordPress website or really any website, but I we build specifically WordPress websites, we use Divi. This is not a Divi uh, WordPress site. so. No matter what your site is, the, the principles, the basic technical SEO type stuff we're going to be looking at right here applies. I just know how to do all this in WordPress and I have developers on my staff who can do it on coded websites and stuff like that and like uh, just like to throw it out there like if you're with GoDaddy or Wix or uh, Google Site Builder, you're gonna be very limited to be able to implement a lot of SEO things that you really should if you wanna try to compete with how many websites are online these days. So let's get right into it. And first, I'm just gonna run uh, what runs? Uh, Chrome extension. So he's on WordPress. He is not updated to WordPress 5.0, and it's a little over 5.0, but that was a major update. So I would definitely suggest getting your site updated to 5.0 uh, he's using this theme I've never heard of it not a big deal and some other stuff the PHP version is a little outdated so maybe he could contact HostGator and see if they could uh, upgrade his PHP I know he's with HostGator because I checked the source code and there's the HostGator thing right there and when I go to who is to check how old the domain is which this is like brand new like I said so 924 2018 this website was created or registered so the website might might have not have haven't been created then uh, probably you know a week or two later he got the website up but it's 12:30, so it's almost 2019 so it is only a couple months old and that explains a lot after I was looking into this so that was uh, one you know, I did several things before I figured out how old this website was and I was like really happy that it was pretty new so uh, let's take a look at this and I don't mean to be harsh or anything like that I'm just trying to help but there are some glaring errors on this website and I think he knows that that's why he asked us to review it and I, I really do like this guy who asked us to review this he is a, a big fan of our other YouTube channel and I really appreciate it so this is hopefully just going to help you and I you know no hard feelings like I, I just want to help so let's get into it I do really like this we proudly serve and says where they serve like I've looked at so many websites that is like uh, we, we build specifically um, our niche is lawn care and landscaping websites and I look at a lot of them that I can't even figure out where they work um, so that that's good that is right at the top we work here so people visiting the site will know if they are in the service area or not that's kind of important but this is a big mistake in my opinion right here like I, I really do like this logo but this is what you can see on the screen right here is called above the fold so this is taking up way too much real estate above the fold I would highly recommend crop out your logo here just to turfworks and this and get it up here in a menu get your menu right down here up here so it'd be much more like a normal site and you'll get much more content above the fold which will have immense seo benefits so that would be number one redo this 
redo this menu styling because this is really, really damaging your SEO. Uh, I mean, it's taken up more than half of above the fold and that is just a big, big no-no. So definitely address this. It, it looks good. I'm not gonna say it doesn't look good. I do like looking at it, but it, it's gonna do nothing for your SEO and for a local business, especially like a lawn care business or any kind of service business like that, like you need to really get your SEO up because that's where you're gonna get the majority of your customers. That's where the majority of my customers came from in my lawn care business before I sold it. And yeah, we got a absolute ton of business from our website. And that's why I do websites now. Like there is blue in the logo, so I don't know like if that's why there's blue here. I don't know if the blue, I, I don't know, the blue and orange kind of go together pretty well, but I would consider maybe changing that. Just looks a little out of place, but is really not, not a big deal. I'd probably get away with the search. I did test the search and it actually works okay, but you just don't see it on any kind of website like this, so I would get rid of it. Uh, home services, why you would love us, free estimate. Let's click on this real quick and I'll show you this. Boom, takes you off the site, we're in the same tab. That needs to open up in another tab. So that would be step one, make this link open up in a new tab so they still have your website open in their browser. So that is a very easy fix. You do that right from the menus uh, section of WordPress. Uh, contact, usually like contacts on the right. I don't know, that is just usually on the right. Um, I would probably go ahead and utilize the top bar menu and the primary menu that, that WordPress has come standard and put like the blog up top, uh, maybe why you will love us up top in the blog and then you just have home, services, free estimate, contact us as your main menu options. I would highly recommend getting all of your services onto individual pages because Google ranks web pages not websites. So the more pages you have related to a specific topic, the better chance you're gonna have to rank for all those specific things you wanna rank for. I hope that makes sense. Uh, also consider building out you know, areas we serve in a customized page for each area you serve. It, it does no good if you just copy and paste the majority of the text on that page, maybe even swap out the images, but the only words on the page change are the city names and stuff like that. That's gonna look like duplicate content and that is not gonna be good. So let's get down here to our text and we're right here. So here's our big headline and this is, uh, th I mean, this says nothing about lawn care and landscaping. I, I love that you're showing a guarantee on here. That is really, really good. But like you, your headline, your H1 needs to be lawn care and landscaping related, hands down, no questions asked, like it has to be. It's just throwing a huge mixed signal to Google that, you know, oh, the H1 on this page, the homepage of all things is a money back guarantee. It just, it's it's not, not helping at all. So I would highly recommend to change this, maybe just move this farther down on the page, something like that, but get some text up here with a headline about lawn care and landscaping and text about the services you do, where you work, stuff like that. So that that's the first thing. Here we go with the blue again. Okay, you know, I do like you know mention, mentioning text so people know they don't have to call. Uh, these are definitely stock images. I don't know if they just stick out to me like a sore thumb like stock images because I do look at a ton of stock images and use them more than I would like to, but these are just obvious stock images to me. I would get pictures of your own work when whenever you can. I understand you may have just started your business and you know you need to get some but you could literally just go take some pictures of lawns and landscapes in your area whether you did the work or not and they'd be your pictures and then you can use them on your website and no one else would have them on their website and people would look at it and think you did the work and stuff like that so i would highly recommend getting your own pictures onto your website as fast as you possibly can um, I don't go into reading the text. I don't know how many people are reading text on websites like this. I think they're more looking for pictures and headlines and little blurbs and lists and stuff like that. So consider you know, making the stuff you really want people to see and recognize uh, very easy to find, a hard to miss, that stands out, it looks good, all that kind of stuff. So I do like these little like styling, these lines. I don't know about how they're you know full width here, the whole section, but uh, I, I do like that, that adds a little interest to it. 
And you know, this is kind of like a list type thing, even though these don't look like they're in a list because there's no bullet point or it's not a numbered list. Google really doesn't care for these, but you, you got to kind of balance between optimizing for Google and optimizing for people. So this is you know good for people, I think. So remember, this is just my opinion, although I, I really do think I am an expert at this. And yeah, so I, I hope you um, take what I'm saying like seriously. Like uh, I, I really think I have a really good understanding of what Google is looking for. And when I say Google, I mean all search engines, but Google is obviously the dominant uh, leader in the search industry. So, you know, optimize for Google. Uh, let's look down here. I'll just drop email down to the next line. So that's all on the same line and it still may not be I always recommend try to make your website as, as short as possible uh, I wouldn't say like redo your website it's it's very easy to spell it's your company name stuff like that it's a good domain name but just keep in mind when you're getting a domain name try to keep it as short as possible PO box that's fine for here I understand some people don't want to put their um, home address when they're running out of their home I would probably just drop all everything down like Monday dash Friday colon and then eight to five down here phone number phone number below email email below and hopefully that fits or maybe just shrink the font slightly on this text right here so it does fit but follow us on Instagram and Facebook that's cool um, I think these oh see those open in a new tab good job so those do open in a new tab make sure you make this one open in a new tab and that'll clean that up and this is just really hard for me to read and I looked into this a little bit more before I started shooting the video and we'll get onto this more but this is super spammy to absolutely everybody in my opinion uh, to Google to anybody looking at it definitely to me looking at it um, get rid of this this is uh, in your footer section in the theme customizer so just get rid of that just delete that out um, you know maybe put a little copyright of your company or whatever something like that whatever you want to do but just get rid of by WordPress that just screams like um, you know I don't know uh, beginner yeah I think you are a beginner so I think it hit the nail on the head but like, like I said I'm just trying to help with this there's a lot of work that can be done to this site um, let's take a look at the SEO quake so this is another Chrome plugin right here uh, it's, it says the URL is optimal it's not too long like I said it's just it's getting a little long but it is very easy to spell and stuff like that so it's okay uh, you got your canonical set up that's really good um, especially since you don't have Yoast so I don't even know how you manage to accomplish that with WordPress without Yoast but um, I would still recommend get your Yoast plugin that will allow you, allow you to optimize your title tags and your meta description which you are missing a meta description so definitely uh, get Yoast and then your title tags way too long um, like I say always remember your title tag in meta description don't necessarily they aren't necessarily a SEO item it's gonna affect click-through rate and stuff like that so you want to optimize these to get be clicked the title and the meta description is what shows up in the search results so you want that to make people want to click on your listing over the other listings so here is that big blurb of text down here see services lawn mowing and we come down here services lawn mowing all that so that is actually an H6 tag. So definitely shouldn't be an H6 tag. These H tags are all out of whack. This H1 tag's way too long. And um, yeah, it's just it's spammy is, is what it is. Uh, so you know, we skipped H2. You should definitely go in order H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. Uh, you don't have to use them all. Um, you know, it's I, don't, I can't get into like super detail on everything. But definitely look into H tags. I, I will be starting the optimize blog January 1st, and H tags is one of the topics. Uh, basically, going to cover every individual uh, SEO, technical SEO item as we start our blog. So, if you are looking to optimize your own website, the blog would probably benefit you a lot. So, this says all images have alt tags, but they actually do not because here's the source code and when I hit control F so just so you know I was on this page the home page I hit control U and brought up the source code and now I hit control F and I entered alt equal sign and now we can go look for all the alt tags so Fort Smith 
lawn care, mowing, bush trimming, way too long, way, 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 way too long of an alt tag. Alt tag should be a couple words at most and basically describe what that image is. It is for visually impaired people. Google does look at it, so I would recommend like trying to get some kind of SEO benefit out of it, but do, do not keyword stuff, don't spam it, and don't make it this long for short. So come down to here and there's a missing alt tag. So alt equals and just quote, quote. So then here's another one that's way too long. And here's the other one that's again way too long. So, and it's obviously just keyword stuffing. He's just putting the city names in here. So that that's like the definition of keyword stuffing. So this is just, this is actually having a negative SEO effect because you're doing it wrong. So. That, that's the whole point of the video is to point these out. So I, I'm not trying to say you did a bad job. Uh, I've seen plenty of websites that look much, much worse, but there, there are a lot of issues. Uh, the micro formats, don't worry about micro formats. You really wanna work, worry about schema. They're basically the same thing, uh, but you can get the WP schema structured data. I believe it's by Casey SEO Pro, something like that. Um, I would get that plug in and then get your schema going, set site wide for the whole site, local business, and then go to each of like you should build out the services pages for each individual service and then mark those up as a service and all that kind of stuff. But it's very easy to do with that plug in. Um, Yoast will take care of uh, connecting Open Graph in the Twitter card. Uh, you know, AMP is is AMP. So if you want to get into AMP, I mean that's that's getting pretty. Uh, pretty advanced in my opinion so we're kind of doing a beginner video here so we're not going to get into that but you got the robots txt that's good the sitemap yoast will take care of this too you still have to uh, grab it from yoast and then put it into your search console it's very easy you just need to do it i believe i have a blog post on that already on optimized and google analytics you know just get google analytics set up it's free so take advantage of it and you'll get some basic analytic data about your uh, business and then hook analytics up to search console and you can actually get more detailed information in search console in my in my opinion but you do need to connect them so it's a little bit of a process and that that's why i just recommend having uh somebody that does this for a living do your stuff because there's just so much that goes into it so cropped logo icon 32 by 32 so this is a bad file name so this is the file name for that image so it should it should actually be favicon is what the favicon um, image title should be but you know you can name other ones like employee mowing lawn mowing lawn in city stuff like that so that's another seo benefit but you don't there's no need to put this 32 by 32 it doesn't need to know that in the file name um, icon you know it doesn't need that craft it doesn't need that it just it just needs to say favicon is all it needs to say um, so let me go back to this and hit the SEO quake again because I want to show you it has no backlinks so it's brand new so that kind of explains that and most local businesses none of the competition has backlinks so it's not even that big of a deal but I would recommend trying to get backlinks, and that is a service we offer if you want to get some backlinks from us. But you know, basically, you want to reach out to if you're a lawn care business, maybe reach out to Turf Magazine, to Lawn and Landscape, to whoever. There's a bunch of little magazines and stuff like that. Maybe Echo Means Business. Um, you know, maybe get on Lawn Site stuff like that and see if you can get a backlink from them by writing a article that provides value to the community. Uh, external links so it's linking out to wordpress.org and his theme so these need to go those are down there in the footer right down here so get rid of these I already said that but definitely get rid of those um, where were we right here okay so he links to his Instagram and his Facebook and then his quote which opened up in the same window so he needs to fix that uh, internally he's linking to his pages so that's good um, I just get way more internal links uh, there needs to be more content on the pages before you get more internal links but definitely the, the pages just need more content for sure pictures and images and stuff like that that's basically what makes up the website I would recommend getting videos going too 
uh, for his Instagram. Let's take a look at this real quick. Looks good for a lawn care company. I like it. Uh, Facebook, definitely get your likes up, get some reviews on Facebook, and also on um, on Google. I think he had two on Google. Uh, well, we're talking about Google. It's a brand new website, so it makes sense, but I've literally maxed out this. It says I can repeat the search and see more than 110 results, but I've gone to page 11 for lawn care service, Fort Smith, Arkansas, and he wasn't in any of them. And then I, I did the same thing. I got the same message on the original search where his business is actually located, and I went to page 14, and I just got tired of going through pages. So he's not ranking at all. So that this is like a very clear indication that all these things that I'm mentioning need to be addressed really bad. We already looked at who is, that's how I figured out he was with HostGator plus the source code HostGator and the domain age. So that's something you can look up any information about um, any website by going to who is and typing the website in right here. And like this, this is good, this is a, a private domain, that's why we don't see his actual name and stuff like that. So that's good that that was set up. I'd highly recommend that. And I forget if I mentioned, um, when you ask HostGator about upgrading your PHP, see if you can just swap and get on their cloud hosting service instead of the shared service you're more than likely on. If you're on the cloud service, good job, but definitely get on the cloud service. It'll actually be cheaper. Your website will load faster and all that kind of stuff. That is actually something that I didn't check, but we can go ahead and check that right now at gtmetrics.com and we'll test the site speed and we'll come back to that in a minute because it'll analyze it and it'll take a second. Um, so I went to Moz Local. I don't recommend using Moz Local because I recommend using Optimize's citation building service. Um, if you check Optimize on Moz Local, you'll see we're at 82% and he's at 11. So um, that is why I highly recommend using our service because we know how to do these citations very, very well. And yes, it comes at a cost, but it'll probably take you, uh, you know, the, the time to money value would probably be less than how much you're worth per hour to actually manually build out all the citations yourself. So that's something we do. We do a lot of stuff like this. We also review fetch. If uh, you need help building up your reviews, we will help get them from your clients. Um, but yeah, so basically it's just picking up Facebook. I don't know why it's missing Google. He does have a Google, um, but none of these things right here, none of this stuff. So you know, can't contact these right now. So maybe he potentially does, but I doubt it just because it's a brand new business. So citations are huge. If you don't know what citations are, there is some information on Optimize's site and there's information all over the web about citations. Uh, so now I just went to a services page where we have more stock images and everything's just uh, in a block here. Nothing necessarily wrong with that. I do like how uh, you know you made some of this stuff bold to make it stick out. It it helps me as I'm skimming stuff. I'm you know reading that kind of stuff. Potentially other people are too. But uh, I also ran SEO Quake on this page just to show you that you know all the pages are suffering from the same kind of stuff. At least this one has a, be a better text to HTML ratio. I don't get too hung up on that stat, but no schema. So definitely get your services schema on here, but it would be so much more beneficial to break out each service onto its own page. And GT metrics. So it scored very good on GT metrics. And at my, my thought process behind this is because there's just not much to this page. So <laughs> yeah, that, that's one benefit of having a very simple website is it'll load fast, but you know, you gotta kind of give and take. Uh, so maybe he is on the cloud service with HostGator. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this is actually looking really good. Yeah, really, really good. So heck yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you could clean this up with a little uh, code snippet. You could clean up your leverage uh, browser caching and yeah, you might have the fastest website I've ever seen on here. Um, I've used CDNs in the past, and I think we're actually with a CDN right now, but I don't notice any different expired headers. Yeah, you could possibly take care of this with a code snippet or a plugin. So yeah, that's something to look into. You could have a really, really fast site, which is a ranking factor. So that, that would definitely be worth looking at. HTTP repair, yeah. Okay, 
So you know, sometimes when you ha when you're getting some external stuff, it's it's you know really hard to eliminate that. You know, it's just how the website web websites work. They're calling from different places and stuff like that. So that is like my little rundown on this site. It's just basically a bunch of uh, very basic stuff. So I hope you found value in that. I would let, let's look at it real quick. There's no contact forms on here. Is there a contact form on the contact page? No. So there's no contact forms on the website. Definitely make contact forms um, where we have the home and he has his guarantee. I would get some kind of a guarantee badge just going back to people you know aren't reading as much as they used to so get that badge on here so they can see that and know you have a guarantee I would highly recommend making videos and slapping some videos on like what you would want to do is like lawn mowing service Van Buren Arkansas you know what I mean lawn care Fort Smith Arkansas and then make the videos different talk about doing lawn care and lawn mowing service and everything else you do in those cities slap up some of your pictures on that video make it a couple minutes long put it on youtube optimize it on youtube embed it on your website sounds like a lot it's really not that much it'll, it'll be a couple hours worth of work and it would just benefit you so so much so i would highly recommend doing that while you will love us here so yeah it's okay it's just it's just really really plain jane there's a lot of stock images. I really like this image. It's like this is a custom non-stock image. That is that is really cool right there. I really like that. Uh, contact. We were just here. Like I would just you know if you're gonna keep this layout, I'd put like a divider right here so it just blocks that. So it's kind of weird how that is, but I it's it's understandable. And then the blog. Um, so test post. You know just delete that test post by admin get your gravatar set up with WordPress and everything so you can have your information pulling in here and, and get more credit and it won't say admin it can say your name or you can make it say your company name but yeah these blog posts need to be optimized to really get the benefit you can also do schema markup on the blog post using that same WP structured data plugin I don't I can't ever remember the name of it it's such a long name for a plugin but the, those are the things I would do. I would get a map on here. Um, I, I don't believe you have services set up on your Facebook page. Get your services set up on your Facebook page. Uh, more than likely, you don't have them set up on your Google My Business. Get them set up on your Google My Business. Uh, all that kind of stuff. Post to Google My Business. Do the Google Post things on Google My Business. So beneficial definitely get reviews build out your citations get more content on your site name the images properly get the alt tags in right get your headlines squared away get the contact forms so it, it sounds like a ton of stuff but it's just it's just really really basic stuff so if uh if it's not something like you're comfortable doing i just can't stress enough how i'm how like beneficial it would be to get with somebody like us that could do this because it like my website for my little lawn care business brought in two million dollars in closed business over a five-year period that's four hundred thousand dollars in revenue a year i'm dealing with a ton of lawn care and landscaping owners and they they're not making that kind of money so there there's like multiple reasons why this is happening but one of the reasons is that they they simply are not getting found by people looking for their services and the internet is the number one place where you're going to get that and every single piece of marketing you do should point people back to your website where they can learn more information and i just i just can't i just can't stress it enough i hope you found value in the video i know it got a little long i wanted to go into a lot of detail here so he could get value out of it and if you're new to wordpress and working on your website i hope you found value in that and the things that you should address we're here if you need us and i hope to catch you on another video